Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hi guys, I'm here with the Bigode ET Max and it's time to uh, accessorize it a little bit. First, a huge shout out to Leem at EUC Underground for um, providing me this wheel for, for testing and to have fun with, and I've certainly been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, by the way, I happen to have noticed that uh, Leem just announced a huge price drop in this wheel. I think he got about 50 of these in a week or so ago. I don't know how many uh, he has left but clearly he has decided to price them to sell. So um, if you were interested in this guy, definitely uh, check, join his uh, Telegram group. See the uh, link in the description uh, for some great prices uh, on other wheels too. Um, today I'm going to accessorize it with these new pedals from uh, E-Rides. I've actually had these for a while, but I've been waiting for uh, a wheel to put them on and I decided it's going to be the ET Max. Certainly the pedals that uh, come with this wheel are, uh, they're nice. I, as of right now, uh, early-ish 2024, I uh, still think that the gold pedals are the best in the industry, what they provide. But these newer pedals that they're providing with the wheels, they're really Thin on the outside and I've seen these things get destroyed in bad tumbles other crashes hopefully it won't crash but uh, still uh, aftermarket pedals uh, can definitely if you want to uh, spruce up your wheel are a way to go and uh, these are definitely on the more robust side uh, compared to, to those so uh, let me show you these. Now I'm showing you some of these pedals in the past. Once again, I, I love the presentation. I think uh, uh, Afiz E-Rise is uh, packaging his products the best, uh, for whatever that's worth. I kind of like cool packaging. This is how they come. So again, th these are the newer new Bigod wheels. Uh, Check out the website, see the link in the description below. They, he has uh, different versions of these pedals. And uh, let's see if I can open this. They, um, they consist of two parts. There's a base plate and the pedal part can separate from this. So you can uh, get different pedals or, or a replacement pedal if you do uh, destroy this in a bad crash and uh, install it. So again, I love the I love the build quality of these pedals. I think they're beautiful. They have a magnet here if you need a magnet to uh, keep the pedal up. Um, but they have a tension mechanism. Uh, you can adjust the, the dihedral of the pedal. Spikes are all replaceable. Includes some of the tools you, you need. <laughs> so this is a tool that you can put in a socket wrench to change out these spikes. And these are standard standard spikes that you can buy all over the place including uh, Amazon so that's cool and these uh, heel and toe risers are also uh, nice and you can take those off if, if you prefer a totally flat pedal um, I'm kind of indifferent to them I haven't personally noticed a difference in riding uh, with the these uh, risers so I just leave them on, but um, I know I definitely have heard from other people that they do notice them and they like them. So it's so kind of a win-win. Use them or you don't have to use them. Of course, it's extremely easy to change these pedals using a five millimeter 
Allen wrench. Remove the two grub screws, top and bottom, front and back, depending on your perspective. <laughs> Don't forget to loosen the grub screw on the bottom of the pedal hanger. That's the grub screw that's responsible for your um, tension on the pedal. And then uh, push it out. I should say, let me show you something. This is the pedal rod that came out of the other side, the other pedal. And I had to work a little bit to get it out because uh, hopefully you can see it's bent. I don't think I did that. It must have been when, uh, probably when Roger was uh, riding the wheel. So um, the stock pedal rods that come with uh, pedals are generally not known to be the best. I don't know specifically, this is the one that comes with the E-Rides pedals. I don't know, I should ask, um, I'll ask um, Afiz if he knows what these are made out of, but definitely many of the aftermarket pedals are specifically provided with uh, upgraded, better quality metal for the pedal rods, and it's worth it because I could get this off, but I've seen, I've actually had to cut a pedal off once because it was bent so much, I just could not get it out. Of course, installing these new pedals is very easy. They do have these spacers, this particular set anyway it does. And you can use the existing grub screws or, or the ones that come with the pedals, of course. Now, I don't put Loctite thread locker on these anymore. Used to do that on the old style pedals. But with the newer ones that come with these um, these nylon tips that compress, they actually act as a form, kind of like a locking mechanism. So you crank down on these grub screws and they compress against the shaft, and um, and that kind of that just locks them in. And then you don't have to deal with uh, tight Loctite if you have to remove the pedals later. And then tighten the adjustment tensioning screw, and that's it. Okay, all ready to go. I do like the look of these pedals, of course. I know I'm going to like them because uh, this is not the first pair. Uh, I have these on uh, multiple of my wheels. Huge shout out to uh, um, Afiz again for uh, providing me these uh, pedals to uh, experiment with on my different wheels. It's a beautiful day right now. It's a Friday. I'm going to uh, be heading out into the mountains. I'm going to test these pedals out. I also got a new uh, helmet mirror I'm going to be testing out so just a little gear testing in the mountains and uh, and also of course just uh, enjoying riding in the mountains 
to be free. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you found this video useful. And until next time, safe riding.